My name is Julia Stevenson, and I have a visual disability that has left me legally blind. My name is Christy. I'm partially sighted. Hi, I'm Mitchell Daniels, longtime Ajax resident. I was born with hydrocephalus, also known as water on the brain, strabismus, also known as lazy eye, and later diagnosed on the autism spectrum. One thing I love about the trails in Ajax is the variety of trails that we have here. I love getting out in nature. I love hearing the birds and knowing that the chipmunks are around. I, I just enjoy being outside and the trails is a great place to get outside and have an adventure. It reminds me of uh, when I was very young and I grew up farming with my parents because my parents were farmers and the trails looks exactly like the routes, uh, the routes to the farm. I spend a lot of my time down here taking my autism service dog Sasha for walks, as well as spending time with friends and family throughout the various different trails here on the network. I do have a few safety concerns about e-scooters and e-bikes being used on the trail. Like I said before, I use a white cane, and that's an indicator for other people that watch because they've got a vision issue. But not everybody with vision loss uses a white cane or some kind of a mo mobility device to get around. They will go on the scooters and the e bike and the, the whole thing will be jumped and the safety and fear will be there. And am I free? <laughs> am I safe? There has been a few occasions where I have been run off the trail by various different e bike and e uh, scooter users. But in general, though, most people are very, very accepting of my disability and of course are very very accommodating and easygoing when it comes to sharing the trail. Uh, when you see someone with a disability give them space to to get around. Now they should consider that there are some people that are visually impaired especially in this area for safety purpose. One of the things that I think I wish that individuals using e-bikes or e-scooters could develop a bit of a better understanding of is that oftentimes, especially when I have Sasha, my service dog, with me, oftentimes it can be hard for us to get off the trail quickly. And so really just providing that little notice that they're perhaps coming up. Because I love exploration, to explore my community. Uh, if there could be a way of teaching the, the scooters and uh, the e-bike riders to, to, to understand that the, the routes belong to every one of us. To keep to one side and the pedestrian maybe to keep to the other side so that there wouldn't be a sort of jamming. As a community, it's very, very important that we recognize that there's a wide variety of different individuals who use the trails on a regular basis. And so by understanding some of the basic trail etiquette, such as even providing a little wave to let you know that they're coming up behind you, or again, those audible cues. So for example, passing or good morning or good evening. That can make a world of difference in regards to promoting safety on the trails. 